Hi everyone, Crafty Lori here and I'm here with an update. As you all know from my previous video, I did try to craft my own dentures and it did not work. Um, I got super close and I'm confident that I would have been able to do it if I had more time and my uh, separate workspace uh, for that and if I would have uh, studied a little bit more on, on uh, the articulation of the bite because uh, that's what I could not get right. I couldn't get my bite right and it was causing severe jaw pain and it's not good. You can really mess up your jaw from not having the correct bite. So I did purchase dentures from my dentist and I'm going to show them to you and I'm also going to show you how I glue them in. And uh, I got these at the end of June and I've been wearing them every day ever since. And there's the top denture. And here is my bottom denture. And I did, uh, the teeth are smaller because I have a small mouth. And I did pick super white and this color is called PW2. And uh, they fit great. I've only had to have a few adjustments because my gums are pretty much done healing. I waited five months to get teeth. And I did that on purpose. I did not get immediates uh, because I didn't want to deal with that. The only adjustments that I've had made is this is my top denture. And I'm a little bit of an oddball when it comes to my mouth. I have a super low palate. Most people have an arch in their palate that goes up further. I do not. So my top denture does not suction very well because that's how top dentures stay in. And usually on the back, uh, the back used to go from here to here. And I had the dentist uh, uh, cut that off. And that also took away what was called the post dam. And that's what helps uh, dentures suction to the roof of your mouth. But because I have such a low, low palate. See, it doesn't even stick up that much. Most of them stick up above here. Um, I didn't have great suction anyway, so that did not matter. But that's the only adjustment I've had to have on my top denture was uh, the palate cut back. I didn't have any problems with gagging. It's just uh, I have such a small mouth, mouth that it took up a lot of room. So, And, and on the bottom denture, I have uh, a little frenulum down there and so I had to have a little notch cut because that was straight across and it rubs super bad. But I'm going to show you how I glue in my dentures. I do use adhesive. Um, if I'm just running to the store or something like that, I, I don't. But if I'm going to eat, I definitely have to have um, adhesive. And uh, I wanted to show you this cute little denture case. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And it's got a little basket. I got this off of Etsy. And it's all sparkly. I figure if I'm going to have um, false teeth, I might as well be able to keep them in something super cute. So that's what I got. I treated myself to that. But I'm going to aim the camera down and I'm going to put on my glasses. And I'm going to show you what products I use and how I glue in my teeth. Okay, and here I have my dentures. I'm at my crafting desk. Now for the bottom denture, I do use different adhesives for the bottom and the top. And this just comes from uh, a learning curve or experience. I don't know what you want to call it, but I have learned what's worked best for me. And for the bottom denture, I use a Fixident Ultra Max Hold and Fixident Extra Hold Powder. And what I do uh, for the bottom, and I always uh, put in my bottom first, is I uh, I, I pretty much know um, the best place to get the best hold. So I will put some down here. And I will put some over on this side. And then I do have this little silicone uh, glue brush spread the because that's a little bit too much there so I'll kind of tap it down a little bit 
like so. And then I'll take my powder, and these are uh, super dry. These dentures are super dry. They're, they are not uh, wet at all. And then I just take some powder, and I squirt it on there. And now I have a garbage can, and I'm going to tap off the extra uh, powder into the garbage can. But there it is. And this is the bomb denture with the glue with the adhesive on it. I pull up my lip. And I hold it for a little bit. And now I'm going to do uh, the top denture. And for my top denture, I use Fixident Plus with Scope. Um, next time I get this, I'm going to get the non-scope kind. They do have that. And for my bottom or my top denture, and I basically uh, put the glue on almost exactly like the picture shows. Uh, so I am going. This has got a precision tip, so I make a line, and I make a line there, and then I go around, and then a little bit on top, and that's basically what my top denture looks like, and I'm, I don't put any powder on my top denture. I forgot to push record when I was putting them in the top, but I put them in, and then I push, I pull on my lip. Bite down a couple times. And, and there, my teeth are in for the day. And they look nice. Uh, I know it's not a natural color for my age, but I didn't care. I spent uh, over four grand on teeth. I'm going to get any color I want. <laughs> but there they are. And uh, these will last all day. And um, if I'm eating a lot of greasy food or something like that, I might have to uh, re-glue like, the bottom end. But, so I always have uh, some adhesive in my purse, but it's no big deal. And uh, sometimes I sleep with my dentures in. Like last night, I slept with them in. Um, I can eat. Uh, I talk pretty uh, normal. I do uh, have some problems with like F, uh, F words or s sometimes I whistle. But uh, um, I'll take that. That's all right. But uh, my bottoms fit great. I don't have any problems with my bottoms. And my tops fit well. Um, I'm just glad I can smile again. But these are my new teeth. I was disappointed that I couldn't make teeth. But uh, I did gain knowledge on how uh, dentures were made. So that, that did help me with the process when I was picking out my teeth. Uh, what's the size and the color. And the whole process, uh, it did make that easier. But if uh, anybody is curious about dentures or you'd like to ask me some questions, just go ahead and ask them. Um, I cannot answer questions about immediate dentures because I did not get them. So I waited five months before I got permanents. But that's a, um, that, that's a personal choice on if you want to get immediates or not. I did not. But these are my new teeth, and I like them. I don't have any problems with them. Um, if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, and thanks for watching. Bye!